hi guys welcome back so today i'm just gonna do another review of another designer side bag so this bag was gifted to me two years ago by my fiance so i've had two years of use to be able to tell you guys whether it's worth buying so they do sell this bag however not in this version they do sell it in a different version it looks basically the inside is the same the only thing that looks different is the outside of the bag itself but i'm gonna go through the details so that way you guys can see the material that it's made out of how it looks when you stand up i'll give you guys information on pricing as well and i'll let you know basically how it how it has held up after all this time of having it so i'm gonna link on the bottom the newer version of the bag um, but I'll go over the details of my bag because I was still able to find it online, but obviously it's no longer available. It was available at Nordstrom. So basically the bag itself is seven and three fourths width, a five and a half inch height with a two inch diameter. So it's a good, um, it's a good width here to be able to put items in. The strap is 19, can go from 19 to 21 and a half options here. You have two different buttons that you can adjust it to. So if you wanted to put it on the lower setting, you can. And if you want to just keep it on the second button, you can as well. It is 0.8 pounds. Um, it has a magnetic strap closure. So as you can see here, you can open and close it. I love that it is black on the inside. It has textile with leather trimming, as you can see all around. And this is the inside of the bag itself. So you can see the pretty Burberry logo. I love that the inside of the bag is black because it just helps just to conceal any stains and things like that. And it's also made of leather, so it's easy to clean. It has six card slots, as you can see here. It has six card slots and then it has like a little slot here to be able to put items in and what's great about it is also has a zipper here which is pretty awesome to put anything you want and it also has an additional pocket right here in the front so you do have a lot of space to be able to put your items in so i'm just gonna put it on so that way you guys can see how it looks on i'm five five so you can have reference, but this is how the bag looks if you were to put it on. So that's how the bag looks when you put it on. Like I said, it does have a good amount of space inside for you to put your items. So right now I'm just gonna show you some things that I would generally put inside my bag. So one thing, obviously chapstick. So I put that in there, put this right here on the side. I also have a wallet that I put in there as well. So it fits your whole wallet, which is great. Then if you wanna put your cards here, you can. Um, I also tend to obviously put my keys in here. So I put my keys in there as well. And then as you can see, you do have a lot of space to put any other items you want. Like if you wanted to put, let's say, for example, if you want to put, for example, a face mask, you can just throw that in there. And as you can see, it fits quite a good amount of things in both sides. And then it also has the front zipper where you can put something in and it also has the front flap where you could put things in as well. Now, I've had this bag for approximately two years, and it has held up amazingly. I like to take care of any designer items I have, so I do not use it very often. I often just switch up my bag, so if I'm going out one night, I won't use the same bag that I'm using the next night. I've had used it consistently for like maybe three or four days at a time, but I've never used it more than that, I would say. The straps are not worn or torn or anything like that. And the leather is still very, very pretty. None of the seams are coming out and it looks pretty much brand new. There's no stains in it. 
And like I said, it's very easy to clean as well because you can just wipe it down. And this is not made out of like cloth. It's made out of uh, leather itself. This bag is called the Hampshire Vintage Check Crossbody Bag. So this exact same bag is available online. Not the exact same, but the bag itself, but just a different design. So approximately the bag's $920. I wanna say my fiance may have purchased it for like $890. I'm not 100% sure. But if you go online right now, you will see that the Hampshire Vintage Check shoulder bag is $920. And it has the same similar features on the inside. The only difference is the outside. You can see that the color is a bit different. And I believe that the strap may be different as well. Just the way of adjusting the strap may be different. The closure on the newer bag is a flap closure, just like this one. And it has a stud closure where you just close it with the stud. That's pretty much it for the bag i would say it's worth it if you're gonna get a designer bag for me personally i think you should just take care of it and make sure that you maintain it i know sometimes people get bags and they just kind of just throw it anywhere but for me i'm the type of person that if i'm gonna spend my money on something i'm gonna make sure that i take care of it so that it can last for years and years and years because a lot of these bags can last for a very long time if you properly take care of them and maintain them um if you guys do have any questions about the bag itself, please let me know down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get more information about videos that I may post. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.